In the mid-1990s, General Motors built a car that was decades ahead of its time. It was called the EV1. Fully electric, ultra aerodynamic, and capable of 70 to 100 miles per charge. Drivers loved it. Environmentalists praised it. But GM, they crushed it, literally. The EV1 wasn't available for purchase. It was lease only, and GM kept tight control over every unit. Once the leases ended, the cars weren't renewed. They were recalled and destroyed. Even celebrities who begged to buy theirs outright got turned down. So what happened? On paper, the EV1 was a success. But behind the scenes, GM was under pressure from dealerships, oil companies, and even its own board to not shake things up too much. The infrastructure wasn't there. The profit margins were terrible and the company had no real interest in turning a pilot program into a revolution. And so, the first mass-produced electric car in America got buried before Tesla was even a company. By the 2010s, Tesla proved there was a real demand for EVs. Now every major automaker is playing catch up, but the EV1, it was the electric car that arrived too early and got wiped out before it had a chance.